Does NA work? Can NA actually help you get sober? What is NA like? What does it do to get you sober? Cocaine was my drug of choice when it came to Narcotics Anonymous. I am a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. 72517 is my sobriety date. And my big drug of choice was cocaine. I loved cocaine. Um, and one of the things is people told me, hey, go to Narcotics Anonymous. I actually went to both AA and NA, and I'm going to share a little bit on NA and my experiences with it, the good and the bad, because believe me, there is actually bad that you don't realize. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up, guys? My name is Eric, and I'm a recovering cocaine alcoholic addict. 7, uh, 25, 17 is my sobriety date. And cocaine and alcohol were my drugs of choice. I was up to two to three fifths of vodka a day. I was drinking or drinking just nonstop. Uh, when it came to cocaine, I introduced that into self-medicate to the point that I was doing one to two eight balls of coke a day. I was told when I first was getting sober, you got to go to these meetings, NA and AA, went to both. And they are different. So don't you can't go into NA and AA almost thinking that they're the same because they're not. And it's, it's weird. There's this weird underlying tone that they almost like hate each other which to me never made sense because we're all just trying to get sober. We're all just trying to live ultimately. But it was, it was so weird how it, there was a lot of feeling of segregation between the both. Now, the benefits that I got out of NA is this, because I want to start off with the positives because I am very pro NA, is that it gave me a place with others that could understand me. It gave me a place to share. It gave me a voice to kind of vent, relate to others to constantly keep in mind that I'm not the only one going through this. Because that was one of my biggest issues is I'm the only one going through this. No one understands what the withdrawals are like. No one understands what the mental withdrawals are like. Like I'm alone in my sobriety. And it combated that tremendously. Tremendous support. And it gave me people that were sober to be able to hang out with. To make friends that were sober. That was the biggest benefit I got out of NA. It allowed me to occupy my time with friends to find coping mechanisms and tools that people use so that they didn't relapse. Um, it, it gave me a camaraderie and like almost a sense of belonging again with the right people. The negatives though I ran into NA is this. NA one was the negative undertone almost towards AA. It was almost like they might as well just look and say, Hey, we're NA, not AA. So if any of that AA shit you bring in here, don't bring it in here because NA is the way to go. I believe that everybody gets sober differently. Uh, the way that I got sober from these drugs and from alcohol is going to be different than the next person that has gotten sober or the person to my right that's gotten sober or left or whoever has gotten sober. We've all gotten sober different ways. We found different sober t coping techniques. If you try to follow one person's techniques to a T that worked for them, it's probably not going to work for you because we're not the same. There's going to be little differences. And I, I, I didn't see that open-mindedness as much, uh, especially with NA. And the things that I really struggled with in NA is, is almost the drama and bullying that happened in NA. Um, this is something that you won't hear a lot of people speak up about, but there's drama and bullying in NA. Uh, and I, I've been victim of it. And what I mean by that is my drug of choice was cocaine. To me, a drug of choice is a drug that I, I couldn't keep it around me. If I had an eight ball of Coke, it's gone. There was no like... I'm going to budget this out or anything of that sort. Now I'm on Adderall. There were people in NA on that were abusing Adderall. Well, everyone's like, well, you're on a stimulant drug. If you really truly want to get sober, you need to get off your Adderall. All right. I've been on Adderall since I was 17. I take 10 milligrams in the morning and 10 milligrams in the afternoon. I a lot of times forget even to take my medication. I'm not taking it for any kind of high. I'm taking it to try and be normal and function throughout my day. I'm not going to give that up. I've quit Adderall. What happens when you quit Adderall? It's a whole different other struggle. Now, do I agree that Adderall is an addictive um, uh, medication? Yes, I do. It's proven that it is. But again, when it comes to, I'm here to get sober from cocaine. This is the drug that's ruining my life. In fact, me just on Adderall, I've ran dealerships. I've had a lot of success and a lot of success even with relationships, everything when it came to just using that. It wasn't this just obsession demon of mine that was like cocaine. So that was one of the struggles I ran into is, is people wanted to tell you how to get sober. The, the worst ever that I ever experienced is watching people. I would go up to these people after meetings, watching people get bullied that were heroin addicts or opiate addicts that got on Suboxone or even methadone. But they got on this to help try and taper off of these drugs and people are telling them how they're not sober. And to me, that just defeats the purpose. The ultimate purpose is this person is not doing heroin passed out with needles in their arm underneath a bridge. 
Uh, there, there, there's no risk of fentanyl in the Suboxone. Uh, they're under the guidance of a doctor. Like, celebrate people however they're fighting to stay sane, but that's not necessarily the case. Um, it's so black and white, and I don't believe we live in a black and white society always. I think it's a, more of a celebration. I mean, it's black and white to either you're sober or you're not sober or you're drug of choice. But you have these people who are fighting for it. And that was one of the things I really struggled with. I struggled with people so diehard stance on how to get sober, the only way to get sober, that I think it turned a lot of people away. And I've, I've talked to a lot of people that have ran into issues. And it's sad because we all want a community. We all want people to talk to that's open-minded. Oh, how do we just get sober, man? How do we stop this mess? Uh, and so that is one of the things. The other thing I ran into with NA that I did not like is the fact that I was a cocaine addict. Now I'm in there with heroin addicts, meth addicts, uh, opiate addicts. And the amazing thing was there was a stigma that made me think cocaine was safe. That cocaine was a rich man's drug. That no one really OD'd on cocaine. That cocaine wasn't really addictive. And people looked at me weird. And I got weird comments and weird stuff because... I mean, I would hear, we, we'd be sharing, and there's somebody sharing about how they're pu pulling needles out of a trash can to IV and meth, or they're smoking crack, and, you know, they're, they're, they're given blowjobs for a bag, whatever it might be, and here I am, like, yeah, you know, I, I, I get an eight ball and talking about, you know, doing bumps off my credit card in the bathroom, to them almost wasn't like this massive extreme that I really needed that much help because of, so apparently their addiction was more important than mine. And there was this comparison of addictions. And that was one of the things I didn't really agree with. I mean, I met people that were in there for ketamine addiction. I met people that were in there for Adderall addiction. I met people that were in NA for all sorts of different addictions like that. And I think all of our addictions are valid. And that's one of the things that uh, it takes, I think, a lot of time to find the right group. Because I am very for NA. But I'm very big on sharing both sides of it. And, you know, I, I, I feel that it should be a whatever your addiction is, whatever your, your struggle is, your drug of choice is, is that camaraderie that, that we can all relate in the same fashion. Like, yes, I may have never pulled a needle out of a trash can to get high. Um, I may have never given, you know, some random person a blowjob to get a bag. Um, but yes, I have lied, manipulated, stole to get high. Um, I have done everything that I could to protect my addiction and hide my addiction. And so that's one of the few things that I, I just really didn't agree with a lot in NA, but I will tell you this, the positive side to it then to, to, to go back to positive is that you will also find open-minded groups out there. And what I found is a lot of the younger, um, addiction community is a little bit more open-minded than what I would say the old timers are. I almost believe that there should be an old timer meeting and a new timer meeting in a sense. And the reason that I do that, and again, these are just my personal opinions, is the old timers were like, this is how it's done. You don't understand what I went through. Dude, I'm trying to understand what you went through. This is what I'm going through. And again, we're the ones all going through it and all of our going through it is different. But it was like they, you couldn't break through that. So you can find groups out there though. And, and I mean, I've tried so many different NA meetings to find different ones that like, there's a group of people in there that I like, I relate to them all. And as soon as you find those people that you kind of relate to, you can just be friends with, like nobody judges you by your addiction or how bad your addiction was. And that everyone's just cool and sharing and respectful and respectful of each other and supportive of each other is what it's all about. And those groups are out there, it just takes time. And so I guess the main message is this, when it comes to NA, find the right meeting for you. And if you go to a meeting and have a bad experience, don't let that have a bad experience upon the whole thing. Keep going to meetings, keep trying different meetings, keep trying different things to find something where you find your home, where you find your group and to find the people that fit in, that understand you and understand and can communicate with you in a positive way that uplifts you and not giving up. I mean, for the one out there struggling, I do have links to NA and AA down below. Let everyone know that you're, you're trying to get sober, man. If you're trying to get sober out there right now, the first thing that you can do is, yeah, you watch this video and you're like, dude, I want to get sober. How do I get sober? Tell everybody around you to get that you're, you're an addict and start asking for help, man, and just be vulnerable, real, and honest. And believe me, it gets better one day at a time.